Welcome to part two of my video series on the new classic endurance mod pack from Racing Studio for Assetto Corsa. And please say hello for the first time to the Toyoma 2.0. You may know this car as the TSO 20 or simply as the Toyota GT1. Last video, I took a look at RSS's Nissan R390 mod and I'm happy to showcase its track rival in this TSO 20. Like the R390, this is an endurance race car from the late 90s, complete with a mid-mounted twin turbo V8 engine. And I have to admit, I am biased towards this car. I love the TSO 20 and have for a very long time. In many ways, to me, this car represents what a race car should look like, sound like, and perform like. Looks, of course, are subjective, but occasionally a car comes into the public eye that is almost unanimously loved or hated. The McLaren F1 is an example of the former, while their Senna is an example of the latter. And the TSO 20, I think, falls into the love category for most motorsports fans. With the smooth, flowing lines around the cockpit bubble and its tail tapering to a very fine point, this car is striking and that signature red color makes it easily identifiable even a quarter century after it competed. Performance wise, it has a slightly larger displacement to its V8 engine than the Nissan and that 3.6 liter twin turbo V8 pumps out a shade over 600 horsepower. That engine powers the rear wheels by way of its six speed sequential manual transmission. The car's greatest achievement could be considered its class win at the 99 24 hours of Le Mans where it also claimed second overall. And much of the legacy of the TSO 20 is summarized by frequent retirements while racing. But to me, this is a pure classic beautiful, timeless, and powerful, and now I get to drive a version of the car from one of the best modding teams in the world. So let's do that now. All right, so here we are at Imola. On board this TSO 20, and I'm just beyond excited. I've done a few installation laps. I'm so excited to drive it again. I'm so excited to share this with you. It's a phenomenal car. I expected no less from Racim Studio. But even with my high expectations, I mean, this just absolutely delivers on all fronts. Such a pleasure to drive. Such a pleasure to look at. <laughs> Such a pleasure to listen to. I mean, yeah. This is just exactly what I was hoping it would be. So, tires are cold. So, I'm just going to work a bit to get a bit of temperature in them. And then we'll start to turn some decent laps here at Imola, I hope. can't really see it in the uh, in the in-car cam, but off to my left, there is a, a dash screen that has all of the timing, and it's a really nice detail by Racim Studio to make that fully functional. And speaking of some, or speaking of nice details, uh, something I picked up on that you probably already knew, but I never realized this is the uh, asymmetrical mirrors on the TSO 20. So. You notice that the mirror to my left sits kind of on top of the wheel arch and the one on my right sits behind the wheel arch. So, a uh, really cool detail. I never knew that about the TSO 20. Presumably, Race Sim Studio did not just make this up. I assume that is true to life, but a really cool detail. And I spoke about this during the uh, Nissan video as well. And that is that it's it's so cool to recreate or relive motorsports moments and, and relive cars like this and, you know, what they were capable of on track. And you're left sort of at the mercy of the mod creators, of course, in, in terms of how accurate that feel would be. But, uh, you know, e even if they're only, you know, a certain percentage right, these things are still just a blast to drive. And uh, really cool to be in a car like this. One of my all-time favorite race cars. I think much of it stems from the Gran Turismo days and just looking at this TSO 20, aka the uh, GT1, and just, yeah, just basking in the beauty of this race car. And I think that beauty has held up many, many years later. All right, so starting to build a little confidence here. And you can see, even when I push it beyond the limit, even when those tires are fighting for grip, this thing is still fairly well behaved. It's a bit like the R390 in that sense. It's not gonna fight you too much. You can push it pretty good. So 
See there, I caught a bit of grass and didn't spin, so that says something. And I love the squeal of those brakes. Such a beautiful car, and again, that interior detailing, the lights on the dash, phenomenal. And this is uh, the booklet that came with these cars. Did whoa, speaking of beyond the limit, how about I miss turn one? Uh, the booklet that came with this, these cars talked about how this is the fastest of the three cars, so it's the most capable. It doesn't have the top speed of the 390, I don't believe, nor the quartering ability of the 333 SP. But as far as the overall capabilities of the car. I believe this one is going to be the fastest, so it's good for courses like this at Imola where, you know, there's a lot of high-speed cornering in addition to a bit of low-speed cornering and, of course, that start-finish straight, which is very long, allows you to open up top gear in a car like this. All right, very sloppy lap here. I made the mistake of boasting about how well behaved this is beyond the limit. And then I've just lived slightly beyond that limit this whole lap and haven't been able to get proper traction down. So hopefully we can clean it up for the next lap. But I mean, if you're looking for a summary of does this car perform well? Is it fun to drive? Unbelievably so. I think this is, is honestly one of my favorite RSS cars. I would say the 390 is not. I think it's a, a, a masterpiece for what it is, but I don't get the same thrill out of driving it that I do this one. And a lot of that comes down to personal preference. I, I love the Toyota GT1, period. I love it, you know, in real life. I love it in other sims. Um, so it's kind of a personal attachment. But both drive great, but I think this is my favorite of the two that I've reviewed so far. Starting to get a little bit more confidence now. I think I said that earlier. But just personally, I'm starting to get confidence in the car and where I can find a little bit more speed. Up about a quarter second so far on this lap and gaining up this hill. Now three tenths. Whoa! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Got dicey there for a second, but managed to hold on to it. So another sloppy lap. And this car deserves better, frankly. I think, statistically speaking, if you're watching this, you're a better driver than me. I tend to be in the lower half of any race I run. So, uh, assuming you are in the majority there and are a better driver than me, I highly suggest you take this car out and explore the limits a little bit better than I have. Because it's just so much fun, such a pure pleasure. And even if you're not a great driver, I think you'll enjoy it, because obviously I'm not having the easiest time here, but I've managed to keep it generally pointing down the track, and that says a lot. Hard on the brakes and missed the apex again. So down time here. I'd like to get one clean lap in before the end of this video, and I haven't done it so far. Technically, they've all been valid laps, but I haven't been able to get it clean. So we'll maybe do one more lap after this, but man, I just cannot give this enough of an endorsement. Racing Studio, again, they always deliver Yet somehow I'm always shocked how each car, it seems like every year, and within reason, it seems like every car is slightly better than the last. Every major release from them is slightly better than the last. They just find a way to make these cars more and more pleasurable to drive. Somehow they pack in more detail, somehow they pack in, you know, better sounds and 
You know, the overall experience is just phenomenal. Alright, let's go one more here. Down massively on my personal best. Almost nine tenths, eight tenths anyway. See if we can gain a little time here. Up slightly. <laughs> Dancing right on the limit. Up two tenths so far. Hopefully we can maintain that. Took that one in second gear that time. And it did manage to uh, gain me some time. Absolutely beautiful. What a car. I know I said that during the last one, but uh, I would say this is even better. My goodness, what a car. So I'm down huge on my Delta, but I do not care. I had such a great time driving this and man, expect to see a lot more from this car on this channel in the future because I, I think it's phenomenal. Truly a masterpiece. Well done once again to Race Sim Studio. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Have a listen to this replay and we'll see you next time.